Hello there, good morning. Welcome to Breakfast with Sally Nugent and John Kay. Our headlines for you today. We'll have more on that throughout the programme this morning. Five minutes past six and a man has died after a gas explosion at a house in Swansea. Three others were taken to hospital after the blast in the Morriston area of the city, which shook houses miles away. One property was completely flattened, with Wales and West Utilities describing the structural damage as severe, as Aruna Iyengar reports. The UK, the US and Australia have agreed a new security pact aimed at countering China's influence in the Indo-Pacific region with a new fleet of nuclear-powered submarines. The AUKUS agreement will see the US provide Canberra with submarines before a new model is built for the UK and Australian navies. Our political editor Chris Mason travelled with the Prime Minister and has sent this report. Here, groups representing hospitals and other NHS trusts have called for compromise from both sides to try to end the pay dispute between junior doctors and the government. Thousands of medics will walk out again this morning in a second day of strikes across England. Our health reporter Jim Reid has more. Did you ever try that as a not, kid? Not with my back. <laughs> not even as a kid. Uh, we've had a lot, of, uh, a lot of people have been paying respects, though, haven't they? Paid tribute. to. Be showing us how it's done. Uh, a little bit later in the programme, right? Or over the back of the sofa, <laughs> yeah, perhaps. Clear the decks! No, I don't think so. It's 14 <laughs> minutes past six. We've also got some pictures for you this morning. The first set of stamps, beautiful start to the day. Carol's got the weather for us this morning. Not sure the weather's going to feel that... It is that colourful, look! Oh, well, more, more North story. What a brilliant, brilliant story. 80. And you can tell she's brilliant at the job. Exactly. Absolutely brilliant. She's probably looking after people who are younger than her. Yeah, I think you're right. That was Nora talking to our reporter, Jenny Aitken. Uh, let's take a look at... And later on in the programme this morning, around 8.15, we will be speaking to Tom and finding about, out about that challenge that we mentioned to you, his coach, Will Finley's challenge, which is taking place this weekend for Blood Cancer UK. What a challenge it is. Yeah. What a matey is. Yeah. Uh, we'll speak to both of them. Uh, 6.26, it's time now to get the news, the travel and weather from the breakfast teams around the UK. We'll see you again in a couple of minutes. Welcome back. Exactly half past six. Breakfast this morning with Sally and John. Uh, the economy in Cheltenham, at least, should be booming <laughs> over the next few days. Four days of racing beginning today. Yeah, John is there live for us this morning. Lucky John, morning. Morning. Yeah. See you later. Thank you, John. <laughs> you love a bit of tweed, don't you? You'd yeah, go, I do. You'd, you'd yeah, love yeah. your tweed yeah, suit at yeah. Cheltenham. Honest John. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, let's go straight to Honest Carol, who can tell us what... That's Peter Wilson reporting. Good for Warwickshire. It makes such a difference, doesn't it, to, yeah. to those families. Let's speak now to Tim Nichols, who's from the National... That means it's time to get the news where you are. We're back in just a moment. Through your own ancestors. Grimmest. <laughs> <laughs> Do that face, Carol. <laughs> have a battle on, you, on your hands as well, you know, because when you gave that little weather forecast, I saw Carol in the opposite screen and she kind of... Luke as well. I know. Great young man. Good morning, yeah. Luke. Yeah, fingers crossed on the nomination. And you've been getting touch, in touch with pictures of your own classic car. Yeah, my first car was called Claude. Claude? Yeah, because as John, I'm not going to say what John said about my first car, but it was French. So, <laughs> oh, yeah, so yes. Yeah. Yes, uh, it's uh, it's coming up to eight o'clock. Keep those pictures coming. We've loved having them already. We've got hundreds, but we'll show you some more a little your bit later. Fault. You um, asked for them. I know. I'm asking again. <laughs> Do stay with us. The headlines are coming up. Good morning. Welcome to Breakfast with Sally Nugent and John Kay. Our headlines today. A man has died after a gas explosion at a house in Swansea. Three others were injured after the blast in the Morriston area of the city, which shook houses miles away. Well, now, the first set of stamps bearing the silhouette of... Yes. <laughs> How bright's our future? I don't know. Carol Morning doesn't look so, quite so good with the pictures. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. Pleasure. Now, the former England and Leicester Tigers rugby player Tom Youngs tragically lost his wife Tiffany to blood cancer in June. And since then, the sporting world has rallied behind Tom and his nine-year-old daughter, Maisie. Our sports reporter, James Burridge, has been speaking to Tom about what that support means. Well, Tom is here on the sofa now alongside Leicester Tigers. And Tom, how much is it helping you? for you to keep the profile of this campaign going and for you to see others being helped. Explain it in a little more detail. You are going to be running, is it 5K? Don't laugh, Tom. <laughs> you can't believe it, can you? 5K an hour. Yeah, that's exactly right. So, and wake you and get you to do it again. Yeah, exactly that. from the rugby family has been amazing. Oh, it's huge, it? yeah. And I like it at all. Yeah. Uh, five minutes past eight, breakfast here on BBC One this morning till quarter past nine. And that's when Morning Live takes over from us, Sam. Thank you. <laughs> this is getting more weird. 
<laughs> it's 27 minutes past eight. Let's get the news, the travel and weather where you are. See you in a second. <laughs> Budget coverage tomorrow across BBC News, 8.35. Um, it's a special week, isn't it? It One is. One of my favourite weeks of the year. It's Cheltenham week. John is live there for us this morning. You were asking us earlier on, John. Good. I like it. Confident. <laughs> morning. That's been great, hasn't it? Yeah, and you've been getting in touch with us with pictures of your own class. Because as Sarah said, there is so much pain, isn't there? And opinions are so strong on this subject about what you might find, what you might have to say. Mm. Well, Rob, Sarah, I think no. Going into a documentary like this, you must have been apprehensive.